15 billion. Senior officials from the Ministry of Internal Affairs, including State Minister Obiga Kanya, Inspector General of Police General Kale Kaihura, Commissioner General of Prisons Dr. Johnson Biawashaja, and officials from the Immigration Department appeared before the Parliamentary Committee of Defense and Internal Affairs to discuss their budget estimates. The police chief kicked off controversy when he said in 2017 they registered far less crime compared to the preceding three years. So in terms of the, of the environment crime, there was a problem, but generally the rest of the country, crime rate was quite low. In a bid to help police do its work, General Kale Kaihura called for the revision in the criminal justice system. He argued for the constitution of 48-hour rule beyond which a suspect in police detention should be charged in court. And then these criminals, some of which we, when you release them on board, they disappear and you never can see them. So we are, we are facing a problem, and I didn't want to call upon this committee to really consider a debate on the criminal justice system as inherited from the British. President Chairman Seven has been a key proponent of the amendment of the 48-hour rule, saying that sometimes the courts may release the suspect, yet the police could be tightening up the evidence against them. But the opposition say the regime may use such a law to prosecute its political opponents. General Kaihura said the president was taking up the matter with the chief justice because some of the released suspects may be a danger to society. The president has instructed us that we bring out this, we compile all these, uh, and we, we, all these cases, uh, and especially, and, and he takes up with the chief, with the chief justice. He even made a, pr a pronouncement when he visited the command scene. MP starts the junior internal affairs minister to explain the apparent frosty relationship between Uganda and Rwanda following the cross arrest of citizens by Kampala and Kigali. But part of the Rwanda security operators operate under the ambit of our security apparatus, under you. In all these neighboring countries, our president is spearheading efforts not to destabilize any government, if anything, to bring peace. So there's no way that Uganda could be hosting rebels for purposes of destabilizing a friendly neighboring country. I want to deny, I want to say, say that very, very clearly. The police chief was also questioned on the notorious Boda Boda 2010 association in Kampala that seems to act with impunity, bringing up their rivals and getting away with it. I mean, he's a police officer, he's a crime preventer, is he what? The guy is so powerful. His only link to us is that he helps us to fight crime. Because Boda Boda, remember, to, from 2006, Boda Boda were both, you know, vehicles for criminality. That's how. The red searching was, was killed, remember? They may have weaknesses, I'm sure they are there, but they helped us, in, especially during the work to work. Remember how the border borders were hostile, were being used by those who were going to work to work. Yes. The lawmakers also wondered why the police needed 105 billion shillings from the budget for crime intelligence and investigations. More research all NTV at Parliament.